Hey guys, and welcome back to a Resident Evil Code Veronica. When we last left off, we met Steve, and uh, he had a bit of a whinge. Something about daddy and not trusting anybody, but hey, that's his problem. Anyway, let's focus a little bit more on our situation and getting the F out of here. So, uh, we got ourselves the Hawk Emblem, which we are absolutely gonna use in here because we might as well whilst we're here. Now, activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material you wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. Right, let's do it, Claire. Uh, yeah, we just need to slap that baby in there. This machine will have it scanned and ready in a jiffy, and we'll be good to go. Now, you don't have to do this here. You can go get the material, then come back, but hey. We may as well. 3D data transmission complete. Excellent. Right. Let's go Please deposit any drop off our metal items. The security box. Okay, lady. Uh, no, we're not going to use those. We're going to drop them in here. Right, cool. Let's go. Let's go past these zombos. I'm not going to worry too much about them right now. And I think we are going to take... We'll take that. We definitely will take the lighter, we'll take the gun, and we'll take the bullets, because you never know what's going to happen in Resident Evil, uh, unless you've played the game 658,000 times. And well, then you probably have a good idea of what's going to happen. Right, so we did manage to pull a switch. Ooh, someone's angered these zombos, haven't they? Well, that's okay. Let's go push the switch. And, yeah... Yeah, this is gonna get ugly. Alright, let's blow that massive container up. And get ready for these Zeds to come marching on. Now, it might look like we're actually saving a lot of bullets. But, trust me, you will burn through these bullets really freaking fast. This is not gonna go overly well either, is it? No. There we go. We're getting some good hits on that. Not... Quite good enough, though. The only problem with the actual knife here... Wow, weird. Okay, that... Can we try and do this, Claire, with a little bit less suck? Oh, man. How did we... How did we get that hurt doing that? Okay, anyway. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't matter. Right. So, let's go grab the fire extinguisher, which is what we need now. Hopefully, we can put that fire out in the beginning. We're also going to want to grab this key. This key is very important. Well, that's not true. It's not very important, but it is handy to have. It will potentially save us a little bit of our sake later on. Right, let's go. Now, we can, if we actually look at this key, this key is for that door, but we have to open it from the other side, which is a little bit of a pain in the bum. Hello, Fido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're, you're a bit of a hungry boy, aren't you? Well, that's not really my problem. And... Okay. <laughs> the dog's actually got lost. Interesting. <laughs> I haven't seen that happen before. Well, I mean, I probably have. Uh, yeah, we've got zombies out here, but... There's, like, literally no point. Uh, equip. Yeah, there's no point in fighting them, to be honest. Hey, friend. Yeah, he's going to stand there and just breathe on us as we walk past, but we're going to ignore him. He is of no interest to us. See, yeah, these guys respawn, which is annoying as hell. But that's okay. We just knife these guys the best we can. Hopefully we don't take too much damage here. Dude, I can't believe we've really got our ass eaten by the shutter there. That was kind of annoying, actually. All right, come on, you. Come this way. We want to get a little bit far away from this wall. You can see it's really freaking dark. I have boosted it up a little bit for YouTube, so... Oh, come on, man. Like, every single zombie is biting us. Like, oh, this is really bad. 
I mean, you know, we're going to have a lot of healing items anyway. Seriously. Jesus. We're getting very unlucky here. These zombies are so... <laughs> tenacious. They're really hungry boys. Like, every single zombie... Like, you should see my practice runs of this game. We don't get bitten, and like, hardly at all. This is kind of silly. Um, yeah, we just keep getting those crits where they're going down with, like, one hit. Anyway, that's called the Let's Player's Curse. So we have our TGO one. Yeah, we don't really need to read this, but... Thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy, TG-01. Uh, TG-01 features. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Cannot be pictured by rentogenography oof, at the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing, utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Metal Industries Co. Chief Development Planning. Carl Redhill. Well, that sounds like an ominous technology that we probably don't want Umbrella using. So, we're going to use it ourselves. Having said that, Umbrella probably would come up with something of their own kind anyway. Now, let's go back to the 3D duplicator. And hopefully we're not going to get our face eaten by fucking zombos on the way by. But we'll see. Well, it's the dogs that we need to be careful of here. But, lucky for us, we have a key. Which... Cuts out a nice little uh, bit of walkie-walkie around here. Definitely grateful for that. Okay, cool. Now, let's go get our emblem so we can actually get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, using these herbs might be beneficial to us. Oh, someone's angered the locals. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yeah, the locals have definitely been angered. Right, we probably don't want to take that with us. Just trying to work out, oh yeah, what we need to take with us and what we need to leave here. Uh, gonna take as much as we can. Ah, stop, stop it. Thank you. Gonna take as much as we can out of that box, to be honest. Hey, zombos. Hopefully you don't smash out of there and try and eat our brains. Nah, probably not. Uh, now. Let's use this funky... There absolutely is a need to use it now, Claire. Thank you. Where's my coffee? There it is. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect replication. Right, well... I hope you've got your running shoes on, Claire. Oh, boy. Yeah. This guy just literally spawns in here. I find it really hard to avoid that guy. Oh, man. Literally, you know what? Let's just run into every zombie. Every single zombie. Like, why not? Oh, God. How can... How can we be playing this so badly? Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh... That's fine. Now, actually, there we go. And we still have a slot to spare. We also don't need to come back. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. So we've frustratingly used, oops, uh, a hell of a lot of our health items and... <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but my god, we have seriously been rolling some unlucky uh, zombies. These seem to be extra bitey. Now, I know we could be using our gun, but eh. We will need those bullets later. 
sooner rather than later, actually. <clears throat> I think we'll probably do... Are we going to use our gun in this video? Maybe. I don't know. Depends when I decide it's time. Ah, I do like that. You know, for the longest time, uh, when I used to play this, when I was a lot younger, I, I always used to miss those bullets. I'm also pretty sure that these bullets aren't here on some versions of the game that I've played, but I might be wrong about that. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, I hope you're feeling strong, Claire, because this looks like a very heavy box, and you're, well, I mean, you're a Redfield, but you, you look like kind of a small lady. But hey, I don't judge. Right, what we like. We could actually pick these up, I suppose. Let's grab these two herbs here. We have the space for them. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of herbs here, as you can see. Like, a lot of herbs. This game is very generous in the beginning with health items. Not so much ammo. If we were shooting like our way through all of these zombies, we'd probably be pretty empty right about now. But... Luckily, the knife is just absolutely OP. And we're going to use the knife as much as we can. Because the knife is badass. There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want to happen. How hard was that, Claire? Seriously? There we go. Now we're getting the critical knife. Hits. That's why you're paid the big bucks, Claire. That's why you become part of Terror Save, you see? Not for fumbling with the knife. Yeah, we're a little bit too close to the wall there, but we'll be okay. There we go, look at that! That is how you kneecap a zombie. Uh-oh. No, we're fine. We're fine. Right, not bad. One zombo left. Come on, you big ugly bastard. Step right up into my kill zone. There we go. Oh, I thought he was going to get the bite then. I thought he was going to get the bite. That's how the zombies usually go down. Not really sure why we were so unlucky with those uh, rolls earlier. But hey, you know, it happens. Certainly not the end of the world. Now we have dags. We have dags. That's okay. This is rather horrible, but they are mutant zombie dogs, so it's fine. One more. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was bad. No, that's fine. There we go. Okay. Thought that was going to be rough, but we kind of managed to pull that one back. I think there's one more. Yep. That's fine. Okay. Definitely could have uh, could have been worse there. Right, we're actually full of uh, stuff. So we need we need an item box. We desperately need an item box. Well, as luck would have it, we have an item box just around the corner. Yep, I think this is my favourite knife in a um, fixed camera perspective Resident Evil game. It's just deliciously overpowered. It really is. You know, even the bloody Cerberuses aren't a threat. I mean, not really. Okay, so let's start sorting our inventory out because we've got a lot of junk to store. Oh, first item box in the game. Oh, lovely. Uh, not going to need that for a while. Let's put the herbage back. Let's put the herbage quite far up here. Uh, yeah, we'll take the rest of that stuff with us. Uh, save ribbon. We'll put that in the box for now. Don't really need it. We're going to get our inventory, like, expanded in a minute anyway. Which is one thing I love about this game. They give you all this cool stuff straight away. Awesome knife. Expanded inventory. Secretary's note. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. 
He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen somebody standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I asked about her again, I could put my life at risk. Holy shit. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dawson. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty strange. But, you know, uh, Alfred's a pretty strange guy, uh, which we are absolutely going to find out during the course of this game. All right, let's go grab ourselves a card. Lovely. An ID card. We're going to need that for downstairs. Uh, what do we have on us? Probably don't need the herb. Let's go drop you back in the trunk. There we go. Boop. Uh, we do need... Actually, no, we do no, we, I can't remember. Do we need this? We don't need it because it's got a card written on the back, which is NTCO394. Don't know if we actually need it, need it though. I guess we'll find out. But before we do anything, we're going to go into here. Uh, let's do a item roundup, actually. Yeah, before we do the card, we'll do an item roundup. Just because there is a herb here. Yum, yum, yum. We do like them green herbs around this these parts. Oh, bit of lag there. Right, over there's a navy proof. We're going to leave it where it is because we're going to go grab that up in a second. But before we do that, let's just go down here. A couple of items of interest that we were gonna, we we're, we're going to hoover up. Ah, uh, there's some bowgun bolts. Very nice. And... Oh, we're getting some weird lag. What's that about? Does the Xbox One X not have the power for this game? Hmm. Yeah, that's all that's there, sadly. But that's fine. Uh, now, was that everything that we had left outside? I think it is. I'm actually thinking about modding my uh, Xbox One X with a SSD. Seems to be quite a popular mod that's actually happening. Uh, it seems to be fairly easy to do as well. Right. Okay, let's go see if we can use this card up before we do anything else. It should come up saying something like, you don't need the card anymore. Uh, now, the password was N-T-O, I think O as in zero, was it? Oh shit, no, I don't think it was actually, I think it's N-T-O, oh bollocks, can't remember if it's zero or no. Uh, let's go with zero, uh, and then it was three, nine, four, okay. Come on, you bastard. Come on, come on. Error, bollocks. No. Son of a... What's interesting, actually, is that time... Uh, that is actually displaying there, under the keyboard, is actually accurate. That is what the time is. That's just blown my fragile little mind. Uh, anyway, so we want N... T... O... I guess... Three, nine, four. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot the C. Oh, you absolute fucking donkey. I thought it was... Uh, God damn it. N, T, C, O, three... Nine, four. Don't make me look at the card game. Don't you do it. 
Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Aha, big brain me. Or maybe I played it earlier, one of the two. Okay, cool. So there we go. Yeah, we can throw the card away now. Nice, which is good because we need three item slots and we have three item slots because we are going to go into this room here. And what are we going to find in this room? Well, we're going to find a bathroom. Bathroom in pretty poor condition, sadly. And it has some bullets, which we absolutely want. It's got some bats, which we don't really want to upset. We've got an F8 spray. And one of these uh, duraluminum cases. Uh, we can't actually open that yet, though. No, we need the simple lock. We need the lock pick. Lock pick in this game is an optional item that you can miss. I definitely missed it on my first playthrough. <sighs> Probably missed it on my first few playthroughs, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the item box. Hello, item box, our old friend. I've come to visit you again. Yeah, we're going to be using this item box, like, quite a lot. Right, lovely. Yeah, I always remember that prison area as well being a lot longer than it actually is. Uh, key items. Key items can come up here, I suppose. Bolts. Now, the bow gun in this game is pretty bad, actually. Herbage is up here. The F8 spray there too. Yeah, uh, bow gun. Really, really awful, awful weapon. Pretty sure we can use a... No, am I thinking of a different game? Yeah, I'm thinking of a different game. Yeah, I thought there was a simple lock there that we can open, but actually I don't think there is. My memory is uh, not as good as it used to be. That's, well, actually, I think my memory's better than it's ever been, ever. But it's always been shit, and you know. If something's better than shit, it can still be shit. That makes sense. Don't tell me it doesn't. Right, let's grab up some more bullets. Nice. Come on, Zombo. Step right, oh, he's a quick one. Oh, he was a hungry little bastard. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't change tactics on me. What the hell was that about? Yeah, that's right. You better sit down. Sit down. Come on, take your medicine. Claire's not having any of your nonsense today. There we go. Alright. Bloody zombies. Takes a red fill to cure an infestation this severe. Come on, you. I don't think I've forgotten about you either. Yeah, man. Yep, we've got clearance. Uh, 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 uh. Clear the quick stepper. You know what's taking some getting used to as well? Oh, God, he's a quick one. That's fine. Oh, got that critical frame there. Yeah, it's still taking me uh, a little bit of getting used to with this capture card that I don't have to sync up the audio anymore. You know, it's just... There's no delay between audio and video at all. It's great. Now, this is a pretty cool room. A model fighter plane is uh, displayed here. Yes. So I see. A model battleship is on display here as well. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Well, let's go grab up some bullets. We've got over 200 rounds now. Uh, let's go. There's a button here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Whoever owns this place is very interested in antique weaponry. A dual model, modeled after an ant, is displayed here. There is a button below. Let's give that a fondle. Well, that ain't right, kids. There's something 
definitely not quite right about those two. Can't quite put my finger on it. But, yeah, a bit strange. Now, we have a pair of gold Lugers are displayed here. Do you want to take them? No, we do not. Let sleeping dogs lie. But we will have this. Uh, we're going to take the steering wheel. If you take that, uh, this room shuts off and uh, Claire starts getting microwaved. Yeah, not great. Cooked inside. From the inside out. Um, definitely not a pleasant way to go. And we need our Claire vertical and alive, really. Right, okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we drop the red back. It's fine. We are going to take the knife with us. I told you guys we're going to be, you know, spending a lot of time with our old friend Item Box. Our old pal, if you will. Okay. Yeah, we don't need a red herb on us. Famous last words. Probably going to get horribly murdered now. Uh, no, that's not where we're putting the... the yeah. yeah. Well, that was a fumble. I'm still getting used to the controls of this game. They're definitely strange. They're not bad. There's nothing wrong with the controls. It's just I'm stupid. And my brain is old. Okay. Maybe uh, playing too many Resident Evil games over the years. Come down with a touch of tea. Who knows? Cool. Let's... Yeah! Oh. Hello. Help me. Steve? Steve? What are you doing, Steve? Claire, personally, I wouldn't help this guy because he probably wouldn't help us. Let's be fair. I'd let the bastard microwave himself. He's obviously seen those guns. He couldn't help himself. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. We'll find out a little bit about that later. Steve is suffering. Good. Let's enjoy that for a minute or two. There's a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Or is it compete? I don't know. There are switches. Uh, we want the C. And we want the E. Because they are two guns. That was too close. But I found something. Thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Hmm. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! Let him go, Claire. Let him go. God, that guy sucks. Right, well, I mean, he's gone. I mean, there's plenty of weapons around here, but I wouldn't have thought anything here is fully automatic. Okay, fine. We'll find you something with plenty of ammo a little bit later on, I'm pretty sure. A nice variety of weapons in this game, actually. One cool thing. Officers, if you're in command of a backwater base like this one, how dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? 
My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> His laugh. God, it's got to be one of my favourite models of Claire in this game. She really does look fantastic. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, I mean, that's Alfred Ashford. He's, well, yeah, he's got a screw loose. Now... He's actually also a really cool character. He's really fucked up, which is great. It works so well. Um, it's just a shame, you know, unlike Wesker, he was a one-trick pony. You know, they could have been pretty cool, uh, you know, antagonists for our Redfields and Kennedys. But sadly, you know, it was not to be. Yes. I mean, we've had other somewhat decent villains, passable villains, I guess, in the Resident Evil franchise, but they've all been, you know, one and done son. They, you know, they haven't stuck around like Wesker has. We haven't got to know them. We haven't had um, any kind of build up, you know. And, you know, Wesker was just cool as well. He was just like the ultimate badass. He didn't give a fuck about you or anything. And there's a side pack. Lovely. Look at all this inventory space, man. You know, I don't know why Code Veronica isn't more popular. It really is seen as the black sheep of the franchise. And that's unfortunate, to be honest. Personally, the black sheep of the franchise for me is probably Resident Evil 7. Now, I like the modern Resident Evil games. I do. But they're not this, are they? You know, as much as I do enjoy them. Resident Evil 7, I, I like that game. But eh, it was a good proof of con concept, I suppose. Whereas Resident Evil 8, well, that was, that was <laughs> really something quite special now, wasn't it? Hey, zombies. Uh, to you too. Now, should we knife these gentlemen? I think we probably could. Might take a hit or two here, but that's fine. Oh, we got screwed over there by the transition of the screen. That wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice at all. Well, we're not injured, so there's that, I suppose. Uh, right, come on, you. Come on, Zombo. Let's get this done. Ooh, these zombies are a little bit stronger than your garden variety that's wandering around outside, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Let's just switch back up to the gun. Hey, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit tougher, aren't you? A little bit more gumption. No, we don't want to check the gun combined. Uh, right, we're probably going to move away from the uh, handgun now. Uh, right, so what we do want is that. Let's head on through here. Now this is a very important room. Very important room. I hope Wesker doesn't come here later. <gasps> Wesker's in this game. He is indeed. Yeah, that was kind of like the worst kept secret ever. Okay. Apparently a control panel for the lift. Push the switch? Yes. It won't work. Something a seems to be missing. Yeah, I wonder what, Claire. Possibly another two of those. But that's fine. We'll be back here later. Yeah, hopefully Wesker doesn't turn up here later on and unleash loads of hunters. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Unless we got a shotgun. And then it would be a barrel of laughs and a big load of fun. Okay, alright, well, let's keep pushing on. 
Uh, yeah, there's some ink ribbons here. I think that's all that's here, though. We picked up the handgun bullets. We've got like 213 bullets. It's, you know, a little bit silly. But that's only if you, you know, rely heavily on the knife. If you don't... Yeah, it's... This game can be a little bit savage. It really can. It's very unforgiving to start with. Right, let's get the light out anyway, because there are bats in this area, but yeah. They can piss off. Because we have a lighter. A lighter with unlimited fuel, luckily enough. Right, so yes, okay. Go take this lift up and have a little look up here, shall we? Alrighty. Now we can go through that door, but there's nothing there. Not yet, anyway. And this computer is off with a smashed chair. Something really went down here, didn't it? There is a lever. Move the lever. Yes! We're certainly going to move this lever. And we're going to be moving this box. Uh, why didn't I play this ages ago? You know, I, I'm... Oh, there's something about coming back to an old Resident Evil game. Especially one that you haven't played that... Well... F for a while, let's just say that. Um, it's so refreshing. You know, it feels like putting on an old, comfortable pair of uh, jeans. That, you know, you know you should be throwing them away. They've got holes in the ass piece. And, you know, they're not as colourful as they once were. Even though all of my clothes are... Um, black but you know what I'm saying you should know better but you can't help yourself that's what the original Resident Evils are for me they're that pleasure that delicious sandwich for instance that unholy unhealthy sandwich that's loaded with calories grease and oil and you know you know it should be time to start looking after yourself a little bit better but you just can't help it just one more bite just one little taste that is what the OG Resident Evil games are. They're the forbidden fruit. And fuck it, we're gonna die anyway, so... Might as well enjoy ourselves whilst we're here. Come on, zombies. Come on, come on. There we go, that's it, that's what we're talking about. Oh, I see. Think you can get up on my watch? I don't think so, pal. I think there's one lazy zombie left. Where's he? Hey, friend. It'd be awful if someone got behind you and stabbed you to death, wouldn't it? It'd be terrible. Come on. Come on. There you go. Don't you hate ankle biters? I mean, really hate ankle biters. There we go. Feel better for that, mate? Yeah, you do. You're welcome. You've been red-fielded. There we go. Now, this will give us the biohazard card. And it will give us these wonderful bowgun arrows. Don't know why it's bowgun arrow. It shouldn't be bowgun bolt. Hey. Hey, I didn't make the game. Yeah, Bowgun is bloody awful in this game, actually. The only real use that the Bowgun has, uh, essentially, yeah, we shouldn't get bothered by bats. The only real use the Bowgun has is if you're using it for the explosive arrows, or if you're just really in a bit of a bind with ammo, which, if you're not super familiar with this game, that's fair enough, but it is scary. Uh, shockingly scary how ma how weak the bowgun is in Code Veronica. It's crap. Now, in Resident Evil um, 2, you know, the original Resident Evil 2, it was a pretty bloody good weapon because the bowgun isn't in the remake of Resident Evil 2. Uh, not sure why. Pretty, uh, Iconic weapon, if you ask me. Wait a minute, was it? No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I haven't played the remake since it came out. Was the boat? I'm going to have to look that up after this video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. 
I actually really did enjoy the remake of Resident Evil 2. I really did. Capcom, uh, more of that please. Now, the remake of Resident Evil 3, uh, well, that wasn't quite as good now, was it? It was still good, you know, and I still enjoyed it for what it was, but it, yeah, they they really did just gurge that out as quick as they could, right, you know. Huge section, well, not exactly huge sections of gameplay missing, but they, they missed more than they should have, I think. Definitely could have been better. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. We're going to go up here and save it. Just because we have been going for 40 minutes, apparently. Okay, yeah. Definitely going to go save it now. Which is a shame, because I'm having fun. But all good things must come to an end. We do have ink ribbons on us, don't we? Yeah, let's just drop those down. Oh, I like the way you can combine your inventory uh, items like that as well. Really nice. Not like that, Claire. Do we want to keep the knife on us? I mean, why not, right? You can always finish off zombies that are on the floor with it, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and we're going to save it over there because we know when you're recording videos, you want to have alternating um, save slots in case something goes wrong. Which it does fairly often. So, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, till next time.